Texas today, I'd like to show you some unusual things sometimes that you may not think about. And one thing is Pakistani fashion. They're becoming a trend not only among uh, Pakist Pakist the Pakistan people here in Houston, which there are thousands now here in the Houston area, but it's kind of becoming trendy among other people as well. And joining us to give us a wonderful fashion show is uh, Masood Ahmad. Did I pronounce that correctly? Perfect. Oh, good. I'm Very so glad. <laughs> now, tell me, is this truly becoming a trend, not just among the Pakistanis, but among uh, others? In oh, yes. It's uh, spreading all around, and everybody is uh, using these clothes now. Even uh, Diana in England, uh, she dresses up in Pakistani clothes. Lady Di? Yes, that's right. Really? Yeah, she visited Pakistan, and she was dressed up in uh, Pakistani clothes. Really? Yeah. Well, let's, can, can we take a look at some of these fashions? Sure. Let's do that. Sure. We have our first model coming on out. Oh, this is beautiful. Tell us what we're seeing here. Is, is there any special um, uh, like significance? That's right. It's a, it's, a, it's a material, it's an organza material, mm -hmm. and uh, it's all thread work. What you're seeing is all hand work, all thread work. Oh, it's wow. all by, done by hand. Now, are most Pakistani clothes made by hand or, is, or not necessarily? Uh, most of them are. Most, most of, of them, them are, are, especially the boutique clothes and the uh, uh, designer's clothes. These are all designer's clothes which you'll be looking at. And uh, they are made by special, uh, uh, well-known designers in Pakistan. So these are actually made in Pakistan and they are made. you brought we them, bring them, them here. Yes, yes. So how, how long would it take to make something like that? Oh, um, I, I, I guess about uh, one week in making one dress, this, yeah. uh, this work. With all that handiwork, that seems very difficult. Right. Now this looks a little more simple to me. Right. It's, it's, it's called uh, Nehru Jacket, Nehru Suit, and it's getting popular. It was, in, in fact, uh, in GQ magazine also. Oh, just recently? So the Nehru Jacket's coming Nehru back? Nehru Jackets are coming back. Uh -huh. They're getting popular. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're basically Pakist more of an Indian style, but it's been adopted by Pakistanis also. Now, what about the white color? Is that going to be really in as opposed to having a darker color? And can you wear they, that this time of year? Yeah, um, there are darker colors, too. In every color, it is uh, uh, available. Mm -hmm. And uh, more popular is white color, especially it's more of a formal dress uh, people wear in the evening for the dinner parties and all this. I see. So this would be a dinner party type uh, mm -hmm. attire for men. Right. And I have, believe we have one more if we want to come on out. Oh, this is a beautiful color. I love that color. Now, would this be formal wear as well? Because it is. So it is formal today. dress. Yeah. They're all formal dresses, and uh, this is, uh, this is uh, made of chiffon, and the work is done by hand also, and it's uh, called uh, uh, the uh, tilla work and uh, the uh, bandi. There are all sorts of. Uh, uh, names to that. Mm -hmm. Let's have everybody come on out. Don't leave. You can come on back yeah, out and we'll have everyone come out so we can take a, a look at all of this. Now, that, being that this is all hand, oh, we still have one more model. Yeah, I didn't is, wear it. Let's, right. let's have one more come out and you can just step aside for one moment. We'll take a look at this. is gorgeous. Right. Oh, my. Now, this, this too. Now, this looks like it's the most intricate, perhaps. Right. As far it, as is. All the it is. It is a very formal one. It's uh, the, uh, the brides also wear this kind of thing when they get married. Oh, the bride would wear bride something like this? The bride will wear like this also. Really? On the second day of the wedding, and uh, it's like a given in the dowry. Uh -huh. That's the very much fashion of giving in dowry about 51 dresses, sometimes 101 dresses. You're kidding. Uh -huh, that's no, the tradition. My. Right. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about your wardrobe for a while after right. getting married then, huh? Uh, exactly. Now, but is that the final model? Okay, That's let's all come artist. out so we can take a look at that. Yeah. That is beautiful. Now, what would something be all handmade and it takes so long to make each dress? Are these quite expensive? They are. Uh, yeah. But uh, I think because uh, the lab, uh, labor is cheap in Pakistan and everything, so they're uh, not that much expensive. I mean, we're and, talking uh, several hundred dollars or uh, a thousand, couple of, a couple of hundred dollars. A couple of hundred dollars, two hundred dollars uh, usually. Well, actually, for a and, formal dress, right. that's really and, not uh, that we are the, yeah, we are the first one in Houston who started this about 12 years ago and uh, because uh, we see that the increasing number of Pakistanis and Indians are coming here. How many here. are in Houston now that you know of? Uh, about 35,000 Pakistanis. 35,000. Mm -hmm. Now, excuse me for asking, and I, this may be my ignorance, I'm not sure, but I've seen a lot of the veils. Is that not, is that a different culture? That's a different culture. That's, okay. a, that's more of the Arabic culture. I see, right. I see, okay. And, uh, so it was my ignorance. I apologize, <laughs> no, but I had no to problem. ask because I kind of expected that. I wasn't really sure. Right. 
Thank you so much for bringing us these beautiful fashions. Let's let everyone know where your store is. And you told me there is a significance in the name of your store. That's Explain right. That. Tanzeb Mahal. That means T-A-N means uh, body. Z-A-I-B means decoration. Mahal means place. So that's a body, body decoration, decoration place. place. And there you go. You can always head over there and if you want. And it's 9651 Bissonnette. Uh, and uh, it's uh, 59 in Bissonnette we are. And the phone number is 271-2512. We got all that information. I appreciate you coming Thank so much. Thank you very much for uh, letting us know. You all did a wonderful and job. And the, the <laughs> fashions are just gorgeous. So if you want something a little different, that's the place to go. And find something just a little different for your uh, parties and things as we approach the holidays.